Hey viewers, I've taken this incline motor and turned it into a crushing type of weapon. If any of you have ever watched Battle, Battle Bots or, uh, no, I think it's Robot Wars, uh, the robot named Razor uh, had uh, something, a hydraulic crusher. And, uh, well, the same hydraulic, but it's the same idea. So, I did a little test on it and Nothing broke so far. Can't guarantee it won't hold up, but uh, so far everything's holding together. So I got some thick pieces of uh, two thick L brackets and some heavy duty screws, two layers of wood, and two bars of uh, welding steel. So when I activate this now, it's very slow, but it's got a lot of force. And I have a few things I will use it on. A little Toshiba tape deck, a little phone and an old Computron. And before you get all mad at me for destroying something uh, old and cool, I've already taken this to a pawn shop and it's pretty much worthless. So I got no use for it. So it's going to get crushed. Alright, I'll set up the first thing and uh, away we go. Alright, good set up. I uh, kind of forgot to mention, I do plan on putting like a little uh, triangle to make like a, a sharp tooth on it I guess you would say but uh, I haven't got around to that and so far just having the two bars actually does a pretty good job of crushing uh, this phone piece is a little bit too high let's see if it sticks in there or if it goes flying separating at the bottom. I have a feeling it's going to go flying out. <laughs> Not much of an effort for this thing. Alright, let's set up the next piece. Alright, let's see how much the phone itself can stand up. I'll move the camera over so you can see what's happening in behind here. There we go. Oh, I hear wood creaking. I think it's creaking right down there at those bolts. It's pulling a little bit. I think I may uh, reinforce this, drill a hole closer to the to the point there, and uh, put another bolt in. I may put a bolt going all the way through it with a nut underneath. But that phone's actually stronger than I thought. Damn. Well, I'm not going to take this any further just yet because I don't want to break, rip the screws out of the wood. But I. Uh, I'll try the uh, tape deck. All right, let's try this. She doesn't like that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Oh, it's even doing what Razor used to do sometimes when it pierced through another bot's armor. He would actually pick it up.
That's pretty sweet. You know what, the first time went so well, let's do it again. That's pretty much extended all the way out. Holy crap. Two nice new holes. There, you can put, put a new switch right in there. Put your label on there, it's good to go. It'll work again. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Alright, up next is the uh, the old Computron. Alright, away we go. Ah, oh, that calls for a reset. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> there you go. That's all that you'll find inside a kid's Computron. Little integrated circuit board. Toshiba chip. Other than that, not very much. Hmm. I'll have to find some more things to uh, crush with this. I think I might call this uh, Will It Crush? As some of you might know, the other uh, YouTube uh, thing where it's, uh, what is it, Will It Blend? The guy in his blender that'll shred anything. Anyway, thanks for watching.